Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games, and in this session of Learning Game Maker Language from Scratch, we're going to be looking at scripts. Now, a script is basically a user-created function, and if you remember from functions, they are chunks of code that will do something, whether it be simple or complex, and then usually return a value for the user to do something with. Now, a script is that exact same thing, except it's created by you, the programmer. They are a resource over here, right underneath paths, and we can right click and create a new script, and we can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna call this one SCR Math, and what we're gonna do here is add two numbers together. Now, a function usually takes arguments, just like a script can, and the way you do that is by creating a variable. So we're gonna say number one equals argument. Now there are up to 16 arguments you can have here. They start counting at zero and go up to 15. So we're going to say argument zero is equal to first number. And the argument zero is what you are actually going to pass in when you call this script. So we're also going to say number two equals argument one. And what we want to do here is add these two numbers together and return their value. This is a very simple function, very easy, and you could very easily do it within your own code, but what I'm showing you is that you can create your own functions, and they can be extremely complex and do very difficult things, but you get to make them yourself instead of relying on GameMaker to do them all for you. So what I'm going to do is create a new variable here called new number, and it's just going to be number one plus number two added together. And then we got to use this keyword called return, and we are going to return new number. So return says, when this script is called, give this value back. And that is what most functions do, is they return a value, because that's what you then work with inside of your if statement or your loops. The value that you get back from your function is how you actually do things inside of your game. So we're going to make a new object over here. We're going to call this obj scripts. And I'm just going to add a create event inside of here. And all I'm going to do to call it is use it just like a function. I'm going to say scr math 5 and 6. Because we know that they need two arguments. And inside of here, if you write, if you middle click on this function, it'll actually open up another box tied directly to it, which is kind of cool. So that is how we call our script. Let's go into our room, place this in here, and then run it. This script is going to be run, but nothing is actually going to look like it happened. Because remember, it is only returning a value, and as of right now, we are doing nothing with that value that's being returned. If we caught that value in a variable like this, we now have that result of our script. And then we could come in here and we can show message a value. And then we're actually doing something with the result of those two numbers being added together. It is 11. And that is basically a script. Now, the reason you'd want to use them is that they allow you to take different chunks of code that you have, the same code, and put it into one logical place being a script. If you are calling a section of code, if you're typing it out more than once or twice, you probably want to create a script because it makes debugging so much easier. Because if you have a section of code that is spread all over your game and you mistype it once, or if you ever need to make a change to that, you have to go in and find it all over the place. So if you have a specific function that your game is doing that you have created yourself, you want to create a script. That script can then be in one place, can be called super easy, and can be changed and debugged without having to jump all over your game's code. So a script is really awesome. It is a user-created function and has a lot of power. Right here, we made a very simple one just to show you how they're made and how they're called. The most important thing is to access, is to catch this value that is being returned. You could, if you wanted to, show message inside of here. I would not recommend this as you don't want your scripts to ever take control of your game. You want to be able to control what happens, like showing messages inside of your code, uh, not inside of a script, because 
you may be calling the script in different places, and if you forget that it has a show message somewhere, that it's going to pop up all over the place. My recommendation is to just use the script as a computational tool to combine multiple sections of code, put it into one place so that it is easier to debug and find later on. Scripts are extremely useful. Uh, I hope that you can see that and that you understand how to use them. If you have any more questions or would like to see more examples of scripts that maybe I use in my own games, then please leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter. I would be glad to show you more of that if you're interested. But that's all I've got for you today. So, as always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there. Uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.